So, Mystical Fighter on the Mega Drive, uh, released in Japan as Demon King, only in Japanese and I can't pronounce it, uh, released in the US as uh, Mystical Fighter and released in Europe as Bugger All, because it never got released in Europe, um, which is a pity really. So uh, here's the two Kabuki, Kabuki guys, uh, and they flip that little logo over and bounce around a bit because that's what they do. Uh, 1992 DreamWorks. I don't think it's DreamWorks is in the, the movie, games, whatever, studio. I think they came a year or two later. I think it's just a coincidentally similar name, uh, although I could be wrong. But I'm pretty sure they're in 94, 95. Um, it says a Kabuki fighter. Um, it's going along fighting. Uh, only it's not called Kabuki fighter because it's a game on the NES called that. Um, and here's some demo stuff we're going to be seeing the game there in a second or two but let's get it started now I have no idea what the story is to this I'm assuming you're a mystical fighter or a demon king perhaps uh, and some medieval looking Japanese guys come up to you and you beat the crap out of them basically uh, much and much hilarity ensues Okay, so um, it, it's probably the closest thing I can think of uh, in terms of you know what it plays like is a uh, golden axe. I mean the, the the controls are pretty simple. It's uh, one button jumps, one button uh, punches, and one button does magic. And we'll look at the magic in a minute. Um, double tapping does a little uh, dash thing, and then you can do a sliding move as well. And uh, if I can get it right, you can do lots and lots of throws. Um, Oh, here's some guys waving curtain poles over their heads. Um, if I was going to find fault with it, I'd say like the animation's a bit funny, but he looks like he's tickling them to death. Um, and it's a terrible, amazing amount of sprite reuse. Uh, you're going to see these little green golem type gremlin guys. You're going to see red ones. You're going to see blue ones, purple ones. Uh, I'm not complaining really, but um, you know you. There you go, tickling them to death. Um, Okay, I'm complaining actually. Uh, like I said, I've been coming off playing the Beats of uh, Beats of Rage, the Streets of Rage games, uh, where okay, they do lots of sprite reuse, but everything gets named and you know it, it looks a bit better. Um, animation is terrible. There isn't even when I oh, see if I can tickle this guy to death. Uh, they just drop down and then disappear. Oh, secret area. Secret area is happening. Um, so these areas. Oh, there's a bit of food there. Sushi. Yum yum yum. More sushi. Uh, oh, usually you get a, a little magic scroll in there. Oh, I did it. I got one. So, uh, yeah, basically, the certain areas, you got little hidden uh, secret areas. And sometimes you get um, bonuses. And other times you just don't get anything at all. It's a, bit, it's a bit weird and random. And if I had the instructions, I'm sure it would make a lot of sense. But it doesn't. There's some lovely sushi. And more golems. It's, yeah, like I said, I, I think the best way of describing this game is it's a rental game. Um, the Back in the, the old days, uh, if you'd have spent your 20, 30 quid on this, you wouldn't be too happy. But if you rent it out for a couple of days, you know, it's, it's good. Uh, what, what's the story? The, the, the graphics are kind of very chunky and odd looking. I mean, like, 
That guy there, is it, are they skulls from his neck or garlic? What's what's his deal? You know what's... It's a bit full. Oh, there we go. Lovely more lovely sushi. Um, the one thing I haven't mentioned yet is that it's a, a two-player game. Um, so, but sadly, I have to play it on my own. It's very sad. Oh. Um, but it's a... <coughs> oh, there we go. A bit of a throw. If you've got, you know, a, a mate round, uh, you can have great fun throwing uh, sumo guys around the floor. There we go. Um, the throws seem to be very... It's, it's really... If you can get the hang of throwing, it's a, a really easy game. Um, unfortunately, I haven't. There we go, lovely sushi. Ah, there we see, I told you folks, it's free reuse. Now we've got blue golems, green golems, red golems. The um, just while I'm talking here, the first time I recorded this, uh, I have a really cool third-party uh, joystick I use for emulation, and it's brilliant except for one thing: the microphone picked up every tap, 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 tap that happened. So, uh, yeah, um, it I, actually it's currently up on YouTube. I'm gonna take that version down, and uh, hopefully if this one works out okay. I'll stick it up, and if you're listening to this, it did turn out okay. Well, relatively okay. Well, or else I just stopped caring after a while and just gave up and stuck it up. Anyway, uh, let's look at this lovely mystical fighter being mystic. Fighting. Fighting Japanese guys with garlic around the necks. Oh, he got me in some sort of slap in the face. I have a horrible feeling that if you got the hang of this game, you could finish it by either throwing or just dashing. Um, this is what I'm saying about it being a rental. Um... I've played this about six times, and out of the six levels that I'm aware of, and I've gotten halfway through without really, you know, putting too much effort into it. Having said that, I mean, uh, it's fun. It's really enjoyable. Um, it probably says more about my taste in games than anything, really. Died after all my bragging. Oh yeah, I can make it through this no problem. Um, yeah, got a uh, got squished there. There you go, folks. That's what it's all about. Doing the throws. And we got a life back again, so it's all good. Um, yeah, um, like I said, Golden Axe. Um, I think this, to compare, like, to, I guess I went into thinking, oh, Streets of Rage, Double Dragon. It probably plays most like Golden Axe, um, in the sense of, uh, oh, boss. Um, you got a, two buttons and magic, and the magic builds up. Um, as I found out the first time, thinking, oh, I'm going to go into this and I can do two magic attacks. Uh, if you get two scrolls, um, you do double a double magic which does slightly more damage, or not, I'm really not 100% sure how much damage that did, not very much. Um, I think it's one of those things you're probably better off, you know, keeping it for taking out a few uh, little minions, as opposed to saving it for the boss. Having said that, the bosses are really easy. The, the ones I've dealt with so far, um, they just go down so easy. I mean, they just tickle that griffin thing to death. Stage, oh, it's all a dream. No, no, it's not. Just went a bit wibbly there. Yeah, so Golden Axe, um, you're going to see now in a minute as well, there's uh, obstacles that, um, oh, I fanned them to death. Yeah, there's uh, holes in the road and obstacles and uh, and whatnot, and you can throw guys into them or you can walk them into them. So it, it plays a bit like Golden Axe that way. Um, I'll keep walking to the trees there. There we go, this is the, uh, the very impressive looking... <laughs> Temple Bell sort of uh, magic. Well, I killed them. Look. <laughs> what? Why are you not impressed? 
I was impressed when the giant bell came down and just sonic to them to death. Yes, folks. As I said, they're not afraid to use a bit of sprite reuse here. Uh, if they think the orange sumo guys are getting a bit too uh, repetitive, then they throw in the red ones as well. On these sword guys. Uh, like I said, throwing. Um, throwing is your friend here. Throwing and dashing. And tickling. It's just, he's, he's, it just looks like he's tickling them under the armpit. So, um, oh, if anyone gets to can suggest any kind of good, interesting, uh, similar, you know, uh, beat em up games to this, stick them in the comments. Um, I mean, I've looked at, uh, what have I looked at? I've looked at um, Streets of Rage games. I've looked at uh, Gold Max Double Dragon. Um, oh, that was, I thought I was doing a new move there, and then I realised it was the E Honda Sumo guy. Uh, but yeah, if you can think of any interesting ones, stick them up there. I'm kind of going with a Mega Drive at the moment because uh, it's it's my uh, console du jour. See, I could talk fancy. Um, but, I mean, I'm open to... Oh, is it? Oh, yeah, it's okay. I hate when they do that. Um, it, they, when they scroll things off the screen. Oh, no, actually, my ultimate beat em up hate is... Uh, beat, beat, uh, Streets of Rage is terrible if this is a final fight. So you're in your level, you're making full use of your environment, uh, you're beating up the goons around you, and uh, you find some incredibly deadly weapon, like a, a stave, or a sword, or a big iron pipe, and you kill the goons on screen, and then immediately you drop the pipe and walk off. So in other words, as soon as you finish the level, you can't bring the pipe with you. Oh, interesting stuff in here. Um, it's almost as bad as when you unearth a bit of uh, energy. But you you kill the last bad guy in the level, and your goon walks off on screen, walks off screen to the next level without bothering to let you pick the that lovely healthy apple or health giving ham or turkey or whatever it is. Uh, final fight is just horrible for that. Oh, what 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 is this? Sorry, I was expecting a uh, because I hadn't been to that section before. I was expecting some lovely sushi, and all I got was some raindrops that killed me. Chubby rain. Behold my tickling of death. Oh, and they threw some sushi in there. <laughs> That's impressive tickling. Well, come on, folks. It does look like he's just tickling those guys. Like I said, whoever... They obviously just got the cleaner to, to Moonlight as the animator in this. Oh, bugger. Rookie mistake. Now, you can actually... Oh. You can... <coughs> excuse me. Throw the guys off here. Of course, I'm not going to be able to do it now. Oh, of course, I threw him the wrong way. <clears throat> we will look discreetly the other way for a second. And we're back. Yeah, so the old, uh, environment's quite hazardous here. Sorry, I'm just in awe of how the have how they get away with such amazing sprite reuse. Okay, I know all you know beat 'em ups are bad. For, oh, there's a purple sumo going now. Um, <laughs> did you ever wonder what happened to uh, Veruca Salt at the end of uh, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory? Well, now you know. She's a character in a beat 'em up. Um, what was I saying there? Okay, <laughs> yeah, no, I mean all beat 'em ups are, are bad for just reusing characters over and over, but. Uh, I don't know why, the fact they just slap a different colour on them in this game, a different hue, uh, it just makes it so cheap. <coughs> um, by the way folks, I, I know it sounds like I'm ragging on this game, and I am a bit, but I'm actually enjoying it. <laughs> and if I only had a friend to play with, I'm sure I'd have twice the fun. Now my wife is a, uh, basically will play anything as long as it involves Gauntlet, you know, the uh, the Atari uh, arcade game. Anything non gauntlet related, she's not interested. So, uh, what can I say? She's good taste in games. Okay, is this a boss fight? No, it's a little 
green goblin. Look at them hopping like frogs. <laughs> and some delicious sushi to keep me going. What? Oh my god. What in the name of... Oh, why? Sweet Mary, Mother of Jesus. That is a weird looking... What? What's he doing with... Oh my god. I'm starting to see why this was never released in Europe. It's just, it's just a giant blue semi-naked guy going around like, and he's making wanker motions. And I'm tickling him in the butt. Oh my god, oh god, no. It's like, do I want to win the level this? Oh, he's gone weird. Do I want to win the level like this? Oh, look at him. What, what's he, what? No. Oh, no, no, no. Inappropriate boss. Inappropriate boss. Well, at least he's dead. Oh, no, he's not dead. No. He's turned red for no apparent reason. Oh, he wasn't the boss. Because it's different music now, so obviously it's a, it's an end of level boss. That's how you tell, folks. Ooh, that almost looked like I knew what I was doing there. That didn't, though. I just... I'm just disturbed, quite frankly. I don't want to play this game anymore. It's going weird. It's inappropriate. This is it's actually a secret weapon. All right, screw it. Let's just get stuck in there. Is he dead? Is it over? Yes. That was all a dream or a nightmare. So that's not my idea of a dream. Okay, so um, I don't think I'm going to continue after this today. Uh, I just <laughs> have to go off and have a shower after that boss fight. That was just disturbing. It was a giant, semi naked, purple, grimacing man making weird, lewd motions at me. Maybe I'm reading too much into that. Um, yeah, anyway, Mystical Fighter, despite the fact that it's lagging off, um, definitely worth the punt. If you see it going on eBay cheap or, you know, a, a jumble sale, flea market, wherever you buy your cheap games, uh, pick it up. Um, are we going to continue? No, I don't think so. Anyway, uh, I'm off to try and cleanse my uh, mind's eye of that horrible vision. And listen, thanks for watching, guys. Enjoy.